Hello and welcome. According to police on Friday, a police officer died Thursday from injuries sustained at a Kenyan opposition rally, marred by clashes between protesters and law enforcement officials. Raila Odinga, a veteran leader of the opposition, has called for protests against the government every Monday and Thursday, twice a week. She says President William Ruto stole the August presidential election, is illegitimate, and can't control prices. The police outlawed these rallies. A police officer died of injuries sustained in the line of duty on the third day of the rally in Kasumu, western Kenya, Raila Odinga's stronghold, according to a statement from the police chief, Jafet Koum. Koum stated that hooligans posing as protesters who invaded private property caused serious injuries while repelling violent protesters to 20 police officers. Two civilians were also killed in and around Kasumu during the two previous demonstrations by alleged police fire. The organization in charge of overseeing law enforcement has initiated investigations. Fearing that the situation could turn into the ethnic violence that followed the 2007-2008 elections, which resulted in the deaths of more than 1,100 people, religious leaders and members of the international community have urged restraint. As per the Media Chamber of Kenya, which safeguards press privileges in the East African country, 25 instances of assaults on neighborhood and unfamiliar writers on account of state and non-state entertainers have been recorded since the fight started on Walk 20. On Monday, Mr. Odinga's business in Nairobi and Mr. Ruto's predecessor Uhuru Kenyatta's farm on the outskirts of the capital were looted. On Wednesday, Home Affairs Minister Kither Kandiki blasted lawlessness and criminal insanity while promising that anyone disrupting the peace would be prosecuted, irrespective of the political party to which they belong. Due to rising food costs, a weakening Kenyan shilling, and an unprecedented drought in some parts of the country, many Kenyans are struggling to eat on a daily basis. Inflation reached 9.2% year-over-year in February, with a 13.3% increase in food prices alone. Raila Odinga, the leader of the opposition in Kenya, says that despite a police ban, protests against President William Ruto's government over the high cost of living will go on as planned. In a Twitter post, Adinga called for fights on Monday and Thursday, hours subsequent to blaming Rep. President Rigathi Gachagua for organizing a mission of commotion against the arranged exhibits. One person was killed when protests in Nairobi and other cities turned violent last week. More than 200 people were detained by police, including lawmakers from both houses of parliament, who are members of Odinga's One Kenya Coalition Party. According to the statement made by Kenya's police chief on Sunday, the protests that Odinga had called for remain illegal. We have been holding ourselves back. At a press conference, Inspector General of Police Jafet Koum told reporters, we can no longer do that. As a police force, we are prepared to keep the peace. Police used water cannon and tear gas during the protests last week, including against Odinga's convoy. Nairobi's focal business locale had a weighty police presence before Monday's arranged meetings. The 78-year-old Odinga has called for two weekly indefinite protests, citing the high cost of staples like maize flour as the cause of inflation. He has also said that Ruto cheated on the presidential election last year. Ruto, who acquired a colossal unfamiliar obligation and has rejected fuel sponsorships, said last week that the fights were harming organizations and Kenya's kin. In his attempt to become president, Adinga, a former prime minister, has lost five elections in a row. He went to the Supreme Court and challenged the most recent outcome, which affirmed Ruto's victory. Hope you enjoy the video.